this sorts out the audio. I'm basically just trying this out. Uh, what I've done, because I don't think it was actually a headset, if it's going out of sync, it's due to the game capturing software, which I've just, um, it actually needed an update, but for some reason it wouldn't do it properly, so um, restart the computer, uh, uninstalled, I've done a clean installation, so basically uninstalled all the old drivers and reinstalled a new one. Um, so that's all up to date. Hopefully it's still out the audio. If it's not actually the game's capturing device, then it must be my rendering or editing software. If that's the case, then I will buy a new one. So I've, there's one I can get for about 80 quid, which is not too bad, considering Sony Vegas is like 200 pounds or odd or something, unless you pirate it, which I'd rather not try out, to be honest, unless it's dodgy. You get a virus on my computer. Um, <laughs> But um, yeah, but I doubt it's a headset. If it doesn't sound like it, anyways. But basically, I'm trying to sort out the audio for people because I hardly doubt you want to watch a video when it's game about the whole thing. So, and let's uh, get underway. We're back from last time. So basically, we took Armavir and Farsis. Let's check this first. Yeah, the music keeps going up for some reason. Uh, yeah, so we're moving these guys up so they can go f to Farsis, and these guys can go up to Fagoria. So it's end of turn. This is basically just try it out, see if it works or not. Um, if worst came scenario, it is the software. A treaty between us would please the gods. Yep. If it is the, the game capturing software, I'll just buy a game capturing device. I need to get one anyways for my PS4. So I can start recording stuff off that. Which is about another 100 quid, but pff, it'd be worth it in the long run. But the way I, the thing I use now, is cause as I've got a NVIDIA graphics card, is um, NVIDIA GeForce Experience. It locks everything at 60 frames a second, if you can get up to 60 frames, which I can for quite a few games. And it's just a cleaner um, recording device. If I use something like Fraps, it only works on certain games where it doesn't slow it down. If I use fraps on this, you wouldn't be able to. Uh, you, I wouldn't be able to record it. It'd be slow as fuck. And it, what's, what's the point of that? It's a bit slow as it is already. Yeah, gathered that. But. So let's siege it. Let's get these guys to move up. So we need to sort this out, that mate. Yep. Uh, so we're getting food. Let's get extra food, and then we'll get that for the settlement. Because obviously that's the only one in the area. This one's. These guys are alright, but yeah, I need to get food up so I can obviously get this one and then I think is there another one floating about? Oh it's just fastest I need to get as well. You gotta think that's an extra four hundred wealth and then we can start getting the army state then. Build up. I've got the general for it, I just need to build up the actual troops inside it now. Which would be cool. And supposedly the new drivers as well, let's see if it does if it is a bit speedier. Um, loading screens are supposed to be cut down, so obviously loading to battle or just loading in general. Main thing you probably see on here is loading for the battle. Okay, so let's run off. Go back, gathering supplies. We have to send both army stacks up to that. Okay, they've actually run off, so I'll attack it again. They've gone to there. They may even be getting attacked by the. Um, I know. I think there's a Pokemon fleet. So they may even be getting attacked by a real Skiffia. Okay, Macedon have taken that as well. I think of somebody else. Recruit Spy. Did I recruit Spy? I don't think I did, did I? Nah. So let's do that. Yeah, always manipulation. Assassination. I can't currently put it in that army stack, 
to thing, and then oh, we're gonna have to wait for food for that one. Okay, so this van came up. Yeah, I hope to God it is sorted now, because I'd rather just have it as this, this software, because it's free. Uh, you get it with the video, so it saves me money. And if it's locking everything at a better game recording sense, then it's, it's just the audio that's fucking up. Hopefully this is sorted it out. If there is a god. In the end. Because, you know, I don't want you guys to be put off by it, and uh, shit, it just doesn't look professional, but if it's something I can't help, I think I've hopefully sorted it out. And I might think I've got a boring voice, but you guys must think I'm alright because you listen to me, so. <laughs> You'd rather listen to what I'm saying to, in certain parts. So, yes, unfortunately, I didn't, I wasn't able to get Tarnis because Pokemon nicked that, so. I need to move these guys up. How can I? The shadows. And then we can quickly get Thingy, the last settlement of Firm. Um, because I don't think I'll be able to get that with one set of guys. Let's see what happens when we move these guys out. Minus four. We can get with that. But building stuff as well to sort stuff out, so it shouldn't be a problem. And we can quickly do that as well. Okie koki. Yeah, because um, I didn't really notice it too much with other games. It's just mainly with obviously this. With uh, Rome Total War. So we'll do that for Terrace for that. And obviously this is the main, you know, things I record for the channel. It's going to be part of the shit if I like every... T Three, four videos. There's some audio issues uh, with it being out of sync and etc. etc. So hopefully it was just a game recording, not actually editing or rendering etc. This hope Pokemon and that don't start to care more me once they get big for their boots. You gotta think Athens done the same thing and they're mutual allies. So let's have a look at this. Obviously we're gonna be troubled because um yeah. But food first. And then we can start upgrading. We'll get them in the sea. Oh shit, I've got that. But we'll do that one first and then we'll convert some stuff over. You want to find that one? Yeah, do that for the next turn. They're right though, because the guys are in there. And we send these guys over to Siege, see if they can take it. If not, we have to move these guys over. Doesn't look like anyone's trying to attack them from Pergamon yet. But yeah, if anyone, I'm oh, sorry if I keep rambling on about it, it's just I've been spending most nights trying to get my head around what it is and what I can do to sort it out, but if anyone does know, yeah, quite PC savvy and stuff, about audio things and recording, leave a message in the comments below, see if, if anything you, you know that might be able to help me, but I assume it's that, it's not the headset. If it was a headset, you wouldn't be able to hear me or I'd be too low or something like that. It's the game recording. Um, Thing it was making it go out of sync and in, in sync and blah blah blah. So I swear I just said end sync then. <laughs> yeah, it's not the American boy band. Okay, blah 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 blah. Convert. No, you bastard. There you go. We can start doing some shizzle. That's gone to our minus one. So that's all right. Happy days. Yeah, we're gonna have to move both of these twats out, man. Oh, I can't because of the thingy. Whoops. Orders, the ship 
Whoops, a daisy. Yeah, because I just put a spy in there. Will you agree to trade? Yeah, that's good. We have money. Give me your money, man. Give me your money. And your trade. Yeah, we're starting to get quite a bit of um got an extra wine there, so get a few pots. Oh, okay, so I was right, Royal Skiffy is actually a war room. So what I'm gonna do is decline. So they get wiped out. And obviously they take some of the forces off of them as well. Because if I was if I if I accepted that and obviously Royal Skiffy won, they would have got the province. And we don't want that, do we? So I can actually attack straight away now. With just that one army stack. This army stack can quickly wipe him out and a few others. If they're within the same vicinity. But if not, guess what? Pokemon. But this time we actually will. It's only 67 anyways, but we might be able to get some experience from it. And it doesn't affect us province wise. So potentially I can try and get these guys to I'll declare war and I'll hopefully get these guys to declare war and rule Scythia and we'll take their settlements as well and that'd be pretty much majority of the Black Sea on the south, east and north all taken out, it's just the west side I need to take. Ready for orders. That will stop the adoption because we are quite, I think we need to sort a few things out within the political area and we need to do that so we can get barbarian towns up to upgrade okay let's check this out okay so Pokemon have moved in I oh, don't know we don't need to do that do we oh boom taking it okay that's that sorted and then we just need to start doing some infrastructure, get a few extra towns built up because we've got some food now. And then we build an army stack now, can't we? They're not going to be anything worthwhile. And they're all on food shortage. Let's convert that one first. And then we do uh, a yellow. So we've got food in these. Yeah, two, we've got 2,000 and that's not even things sorted out. So we're quickly fix these things and then uh, yeah we can easily get our other stack now that's cool let's quickly check diplomacy if anyone wants to sort anything out of me if they want to say hello or make me a cup of tea Athens fucking hate me because the treaty's in Macedon I don't give a shit anyways I'm still remembering what you've done to me in my tireless campaign I'm oh, asking for actually quite friendly now, so let's get some trade. To so let's be friendly first of all. I'm not going to get an aggression pack with them. There's no point. But let's get some trade before we do attack them. Because it's going to be a little while. Before we do. And then, uh, yeah. Let's sort some stuff out first. So luckily, with... Uh, Pokemon and stuff by my side, we've been able to take these out pretty easy. It's one less for it. And you got to think they're at war with quite a few factions, so Chimera's are never really going to be a real threat. You got to think Royal Skiffy attacking them, Pergamon, Cappadocia, and us. Hopefully we ranked up. And again. Seems we do that a lot recently. It doesn't actually fully wipe out the units, which is crazy. It keeps just doing that. Don't know if that's a new patch thing or what, but I'm saying that I think I started this uh pre patch, this campaign. It's the tireless one, the Tillis. No, that's why it's out. 
But it's happened three times in the last two parts, so it's a bit weird. Normally it just uh, stabs them straight in the head and you get rid of them, especially if they're low force like that, if you've got overwhelming, overwhelming forces. Sort these out. We've got yellow, so ooh, we could do a red actually. Build troops with the money we got left. Are you ready to do your duty to the tribe? Okay, we can only build one. So meanwhile, so again in turn. Check what uh, how many settlements we've got in a minute as so, well, and maybe check for the political intrigue. Hopefully they wipe these guys out. There we go. Stabbed in the head. So they should be fully wiped out soon. Might as well make slaves out of the 16 of them. You don't want to enslave hundreds of people because then it you got to feed them. It affects public orders. Uh, obviously you can generate some money out of them if you've got the... Um, I think it's one of the yellow buildings you can do, you can get trade out of them. Okay, that's one wiped out as well. They should be fully wiped out so We can actually capture them as well. Yeah, if you've got a, a nice level of uh, slaves, you can obviously get money out of them, you can tax them, blah blah blah, they can work for you. Obviously you don't see that kind of thing in this game, but you get the gist, as you would within the Roman days, because the majority of their empire was due to slaves. Okay, we've got slums. So let's do that first. Get some foodies. And then obviously that for cultural stuff. Swap it over. Faction encountered Sparta. There's a trespasser. Okay, fair enough. But that's probably because they're trying to sort that thingy. Um, yep, yeah, okay. Let's see if we can... I don't think we can probably trade with Sparta, though. No, we can trade with the Yard Hand now, though. Is that... Us? Okay, they've actually taken out the thingy there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, cool. Let's be... Get some trade. The most May the gods oh, we've already got non-aggression pacts. Athens, obviously, uh, Persia. So they, yeah, Sparta will never have a, a port if they're actually just stuck there. Sometimes they do expand, but normally it's how it is there. They actually just stay with in Sparta and Athens keep that, etc, etc. Okie dokie. Get some curve. Yeah, it's just a bit boring now, obviously, but so I, so I have some infrastructure to get some core money in, get people ranked up, and then we'll probably declare war and roll Skiffia. Take Saloka and Olbia. In theory, Pokemon and my other allies will um, join him as well. But I'll obviously try and take the settlements for myself. I don't really want them to take it. But any forces the enemy does has do have, they will take out. That's the plan. Anyways, Pergamimong, Eganimnum. I actually went to uh, the Pergamon Museum in Berlin. 
it's quite interesting like some of the stuff it is because obviously it's more of like it looks from uh, what the museum is like it's pretty much just like um it's where modern day Turkey is now or Istanbul where they obviously are which is around this area Oop. well hence it says Pergamon there but the uh, the city itself they show like a massive um, archway things everything like a gate obviously some of it was uh, from the actual time itself and then the rest of it was just reconstructed so let's do red one and then we'll get some public order but it's really cool I've got some photos of it actually if you could be really geeky, I might put them up somewhere, <laughs> do a slideshow or something, I don't know, but it's really cool. I'm a bit of a history geek from uh, from university and college, so that's my favourite subject, hence why I like this game. Is to us all. And archaeology, and so forth. I say university. I actually studied archaeology at university, not history, but same thing really. <laughs> You've got to know your history about what you're digging up and what not you're excavating. But I wouldn't say I'm a proper historian. I don't know the ins and outs. I'm not very good with um, memorising certain dates and whatnot. I beg you, take up the sword of Ares and attack these mm. people. They menace us all. They're currently war with quite a few people. I don't know about that. Athens really going to be a threat? Not really. Fuck you, Athens. Round two. Fight. I'm gonna get you back for the KM1 I mean Tyler's campaign, you motherfuckers. If I say if I do to KM1 and thingy, they'll actually be quite happy with me, I think. They weren't happy with me anyways, twats. The Sparta are gonna be Yeah yeah yeah. I don't care, Sparta will wipe them all out. We're gonna kill them all. So first things first, that one. Get some queen engine. I think if I do a settlement at, uh, at each turn, we should be right. And whatever's left over, I'll go into troops. That was the main one because that's the province capital. I think the other two I only need to build up with just standard towns, like, like that one, uh, the P town as well, faces or faces, whatever it is. So they won't cost as much, they'd be like 1500 odds. So it looks like Camira being fully wiped out. Yeah, I think if I keep in the good books with, um, with Pergamon, they can help me out with other factions. So we can actually build up things to for level 3 now. Which is good, good, good. Any things we can actually build up? No, so we'll actually do troops. I'm trying to think where the horses are. Oh, horses are over here, aren't they? So, we'll build a couple of units. I'll do that. So, we've got some ballista. Yeah, right, I'll move them back over here to here and then they could do the horse units. So, this is seven. Yeah, so, what was it? Yeah, slave market, that's what I was talking about earlier. So, you can obviously get your money off the slaves. Probably best to do income, uh, well from agriculture or tariffs. Trade agents, that'd be pretty good. Oh, if you look at this. Oh no, definitely. 100% we've got to go pre-siege tower. I've forgotten we haven't done that. 
Okay. Starting to get some money in. Build a couple of units. So like I said, we'll upgrade a few things as well, which give me even more money. We're getting there. I think we're on a comfortable stage now after um, Camille have been wiped out. The God speak That's the cry in that. Because they're our next targets. Because uh, the plan could be, if you loop, loop round, take out whatever's near Macedon, around that area, up leading up to them, uh, make a military alliance with Macedon, military access, so we can go through their lands, and then we can obviously get to um, Athens. If not, we just have to use ships to do that. Okay, so this one first. Right, we can't currently build anything there, so obviously we troops. Feeds are alright, so, and then one of them we need to do a port, so one will be actual um, fleet, because we need to actually build a fleet. And then um, one will be a food, fisherman's. Yeah, because uh, you got to think they've got all three of these. We can either move through or we're going to have to sail through to Athens, etc. We can even take out Macedon, Macedon so we probably will actually. But um, do nothing. I need the money. Okay, that's gone up. Uh, what was I, what did I just say? Oh yeah, do this first. So, harbour. We ain't got money for that one. Yep. And then we get ourselves a fleet. And then a couple of spears. So that's enough creation swords and we'll get some spears, get some skirmishes, and then we will need four slots left for the, the horses. I do miss this music so much. <laughs> so that's such a good mod. The the next mods they need to do, but obviously such such an undertaking, is a uh, third age. Lord of Rings mod for this. Your people are wounded by this war. And a medieval as a which I know they've got one which has got currently got units, but I mean like a campaign map and all that. But supposedly the reason why you can't do the third age so far is because Creative Assembly have not made it possible. Your oh, piss off, man. The sons of Ares himself. We are yeah, supposedly the the modding tools, you can't actually change the um the map, for some reason, something like, I don't know if that's true or not, but from what I heard, the reason why it hasn't been done so far is because they could obviously change units around and stuff like that, mod them, it's just the map itself, because you obviously, you, you, you would want to make it like mid -worth. you can't just have this, because that's just weird. Okay. Need to get pop it all drop a little bit there. Should have bought some troops to be honest, but Okay, that's the last one of them, and now uh, we're just going to churn out troops the Your next few turns. Your there is no finer 
Yeah, because it's 10 units. So, 2,700 next turn, well, it would be 3 grand. It's going to go all in the army. Because pretty much most things are built now, which are the essential ones to get more money in. I'll just sort out public order a little bit once um, this army stack's built up. We could do another army stack. We get all six, to be honest. But um, what I'll do before I build the uh, this the last army stack, I'll see if we can actually upgrade anything. Probably have to do some research into that first, but let's have a look. Glacian swords, but that's just a garrison. Can we upgrade this? Glacian spears, but that's the same as that, really. Oh no, we could do that. Noble horse, ten squalor. Um. Let's build the units we need for this. So we've got four left. Okay, and then we need to wait two turns so we can do the noble horse. It will go under though. Puppet thingy. So we need to dismantle this. And I have to put like, I might do a yellow building in that one actually. I should have done that ages ago. I forget I had to do that first of all just to get some food. So that, that helped with public order. Because we've got plenty of food. Knocking about in other provinces. Which have better public order. It means I can move that fucking army stack out as well, at some point. Yeah. Okay. Plus that's actually gone f uh, down now from 4 to 11, so I can even build that next turn anyways, so ain't a problem. Without that, without the public order going boosting up, so that's cool. Obviously, food's gone down, but like I said, I can build it elsewhere, so there ain't a problem. So, Sassania Charm. We can move these guys down. I oh, know, we're keeping there because we're going to push on to Royal Scythia. So, yeah, what I'll do with this new army stack, they'll go to the east because there's currently no armies here. They'll protect the borders, because Ardan could be a target as well. So they've got one, two, and then three settlements, so we'll attack them as well. But I'll put the first army stack of theirs, like a Tushbar's defence or Armavir, and then the sixth army stack, which we build, will go there as well, and then them two can attack the Ardan. So basically we'll be pushing on two fronts, but the people we're going to war with shouldn't be that much of a threat. If they got three settlements and the other guys got two, we should be okay. But I just don't want to stretch myself too thin, but that's the two expansion targets. As clouds gather. Nope, so we were to care what on you. Oh yeah, shit, I forgot about that. It takes eight turns to build that. Uh, yeah, the next army stack will have the, the better noble horses. These ones are going to have to be put. Don't matter. Yeah, the next army stack will have the noble horses in. And I might just have noble horses. I'm not. Uh, there's no point of doing the Galatian raiders with them. I don't know. You could do um, a mixture of three noble horses and two of them, or I'd rather just have four noble horses. They could be stronger, anyways. So it's no problem, man.
I'm just going to pop it all there when it goes down. And then we'll do the last, I think they're 500 each anyway, yeah. There we go, that's our army set done. And they can start heading east. Obviously food's gone down a bit, so let's do some infrastructure for a couple of turns. And then, well we need to increase the money up a little bit anyways, before we start building the other army set. So potentially we could probably uh, start attacking Royal Skiff here in a minute. Because that will increase our money. Our enemies tremble at the thought of your might. Nope, not in a moment, please, thank you. So Egypt have been destroyed. Okay. There must be Seleucids. So they send these to Armavir. So this time we've got a bit of protection on the eastern front. Uh, I forgot our oh, food, that was it. And then we pop it all just pretty good here so we can do that. And then we'll just have to do this. We can't do it on that one. Uh, we can't do it there at the moment. We'll do it in that settlement. That's fine. So make them go up as well. Get a bit more food in the area. Food will go up for this, but it's only by two. Okay, uh, I think it's be the end of this part. Hopefully the audio is sorted out now. Uh, so bear with me guys though, I do apologise for it, I'll try my hardest to try and sort it out. And, uh, as always, I hope you enjoy, keep supporting me, I appreciate all your, all your support so far. And if you're new, subscribe to the channel. Okay, thank you and bye.